As you can see from my likes being listed on the screen, I am not a fan of school. Sure my food source was depleting but I've been getting up early and going to school for days now, so I decided to spend some time at home reading manga before heading out. When I got to school I quickly snatched something from O'Hara then went and talked to Curry. It was a pretty dirty conversation and I ended it off getting some advice on Yajiro, Curry said she wasn't worth the effort, but I decided to try one last time to befriend her. I know you know where this will go, nowhere. My objective wasn't to be friends with everyone anyway, Ray or Nyoko I should say came over and told me I was wasting my time, so I walked away giving up on Yajiro. This wasn't a fun lesson to learn, I want to be able to stand up against my dad when I save my little sister but maybe I won't be able to. Life Lesson 6, Some People Don't Deserve Your Efforts I stood around with Meiji and O'Hara telling jokes and talking about music until the bell went for our first class, and when getting into class Ray completely bawled me over. After class I used the same strategy one tried with Yajiro and Meiji but instead with Meiji and O'Hara. We talked for a while with Curry chiming in. After gym I tried to get O'Hara and Meiji together to talk, stole a lot of things from Yumi, talked to Meiji and Curry then like a good student went off to Japanese class. After said Japanese class I snuck up behind Yazawa and stole food from her, then I saw Ichiro handing out money and though I still feel sick around him I asked for some and he graciously gave me money. Here's a really nice guy but also a constant reminder of my mistake, I wish I did better by him. When the last class ended I decided to go back to that tradition on complaining about school to Izanagi, maybe I was standing to close or maybe it was something else but. I hope he learns the lesson I did with Ichiro. The next morning I got changed into a dress, did some stretches so I could participate in gym class well and read some random horror manga before going to school. I saw Meiji and O'Hara standing together and tried to talk about music like yesterday. But Shinji was looming over O'Hara's shoulder insulting him, I couldn't get Shinji to stop so I left. As I went to class I spotted Revei and Yajiro, I wanted to hear what they were talking about but Revei ran away before I could make anything out. After gym class I saw Meiji and I was about to talk to him when I spotted a present, inside was a water bottle, not as good as money so I went and talked to Meiji, then O'Hara. Unfortunately I couldn't get them to talk with each other. After class I started to talk badly about Izanagi to Meiji who fully agreed with me, so that made me feel better about yesterday. I started having a perverted conversation with Curry when I remembered Meiji also likes perversion so we all started talking about it. O'Hara came over and I was going to include him until she slapped Curry. So I left the classroom, I spotted Yajiro standing against the wall, she looked calm so I stayed silent, she spoke first, I agreed and that was it. I think the tension is calming down. I still stuck around her for a while but she didn't seem to mind. Again I loomed around Yajiro waiting for her to talk first but she didn't and Curry started to talk instead. I talked with her for a while then moved on to Meiji and O'Hara, or at least I tried, Shinji and Yazawa kept getting in the way. Then Curry also chimed in with hating O'Hara, I don't understand why they hate him, she hasn't done anything horrible. Eventually but maybe a little late, I got to talk to Meiji but the bell went soon after. When the end of school bell rung I went over to Izanagi to tell them how I don't like them when they said this. What am I supposed to say to this and why would someone say this in response to an insult, does he like being insulted? I don't want to know that I don't want to be involved in that. When I got home I streamed for a few hours, then took a late shower and before I went to bed I ate some food. Friday morning after breakfast I did some stretches, read a comedy manga then reluctantly went to school. I approached Curry, I've been talking to her, Meiji and O'Hara recently so I wanted to know if O'Hara and Curry get along, the answer? Not well. I started talking to Meiji about video games forgetting he doesn't like them and changed the topic to music. Then both Shinji and Yazawa came over and started causing issues. After my first class I decided to steal from Nishi as payback for insulting Meiji this morning, then I got Curry and Meiji together to try make them be friends. Using manga as our main source of bonding because of the manga I read before school.
Curry got closer to me, Meiji walked away and Curry kissed me. This school has a real issue with Issei. This is the third person that kissed me, are they trying to teach me a lesson about what I did to Ichiro? I've learned I swear. I've dropped everyone that's kissed me, so I should drop Curry too, right? But to be honest, I do kind of like her. What am I gonna do with myself? I suppose all I can do is go to class. After art class I got Meiji and Curry to talk about manga again, I tried to get my mind off the kiss and all the past kisses but I couldn't, then I realized Izanagi hasn't been in any classes so far, probably skipping a day, he hates school anyway. Meiji left me with Curry and Shinji decided to step in to bully Curry, I don't know why, it's not like they saw the kiss. Gradually a lot of people came over and I could barely get a word in, so I went to O'Hara and unfortunately Curry followed and started bullying him, she really had no reason we were just talking. So since no one can get along I ran off into a storage room to do some stretches and Curry found me, as well as Riku. We had a brief polite conversation before it was time for maths. I got into quite a long perverted conversation with Curry, Ichiro, and Meiji outside of the math classroom. And I continued that conversation with Curry when the last class ended. Meiji also joined back in close to the end. Before going home I found a nice place outside and started to do my stretches, when the school nurse came over, she didn't say anything so I continued then she scolded me, is stretching illegal at school? Gosh. When she left I stretched just a little bit more then set off on my way home. On the way out I saw Ichiro giving out money again so I asked for some and of course he gave it to me. When I got home I felt bad, I'm close enough to what I need for rent so I decided to spend this money ethically at the store. When I got home I didn't do much, I streamed, showered and then got into bed, it's been a long week. Saturday, 11.59pm We all got a message from the school and police informing us that Izanagi Nazan was officially classified missing, Shinji and Yajiro also got a message from his parents. Monday morning I procrastinated going to school by reading manga and watching anime, I don't like Izanagi but I don't wish anything bad on him, I hope he's just ran off. I was happy to find so many people together when I arrived at school. I ran right over to Yajiro I didn't even know she was close with Izanagi. Unfortunately she didn't want to talk, but I get it. It's not every day your friend disappears and the person you hate for no reason tries to make you feel better. Next I went to Shinji to see if they were feeling okay and Rei came over to do the same. I used video games as sort of a prelude before bringing up Izanagi, Shinji didn't really appreciate it. Once the first class ended I started talking to Curry, then moved to a group of people which was a mistake because they all started fighting. And after the second class I talked with Curry and Meiji, O'Hara tried to join in but Curry pushed him away. Not wanting to be involved in that specific drama I went to this group that contained Rei, Shinji, and Revei and started doing my best comedy routine. And then this happened. Great. Fantastic. This really has to be payback for what I did at this point, no way this many people like me. Only 10 minutes after that I spotted Shinji in the hall and, I mean, it's only fair I get something back because of what they did. Unfortunately after three items they spotted me. Running away from Shinji I saw Curry in the hall and talked to her, on our way to class Ichiro kept trying to butt in, it's probably not his fault everyone's harassing me but I can't shake the feeling. I spotted Yajiro crying so I went and stood by her waiting for her to start a conversation, she didn't and instead walked away. So I went over to Curry and talked about manga, then, for the second time today I got kissed. I didn't stop her. Sure my feelings on everyone are screwed up but maybe I can just settle with her. It's not like I need a relationship but for me, having one would be pretty good for my mental health, at least I think so. I was on my way to class when I noticed these stairs, they didn't have anything saying I couldn't go up them, so I did, and they lead me to the rooftop, it's really nice up here in the summer sun. I've heard the rumors of this roof being haunted, I don't believe them, especially not now, it's too nice up here, a good place to think. Do I really want to be with Curry? I think so but I also think I still want to be with Ichiro and that's why I'm so but hurt over the kiss gone wrong. 
I should get to class. When the last class ended I decided to steal from Shinji when I picked this up. So. Yeah. I'd say it's high time we move on to something else, like, curry, I followed her around complimenting her and talking about manga until we stopped at the lockers. I awkwardly inched closer to her and kissed her and she kissed me back. Woo. These are great times. I just thought this was a really cute detail, but look, Curry has hearts in her eyes, that's so lovely. I mean personally I prefer Ichiro, but Curry is nice too. We kissed again, and I noticed people watching which made me pretty uncomfortable so I went home. When I got home I streamed, making barley any money, took a snack break before streaming again, making some more money, then I showered before going to bed. Hey, I want to try keep the comedy side of this series but it seems to be getting more serious on its own, still though I hope you enjoyed, stay safe and stay happy, goodbye.